The Insta360 Studio has received an update which adds a highly anticipated feature. You'll now be able to add motion blur to any video you shoot with an Insta360 camera, which, when used correctly, can make your action shots look way more dynamic. I'm going to show you where you can find this new feature and how to use it effectively. Let's go. First, load up the Insta360 Studio and make sure it's updated to the latest version. Now, select some videos that you want to use this motion blur effect for and import them into the studio. Now on the right hand side, you'll see there's a few different tabs. You'll need to select the media processing tab. Now under image processing, you'll notice there's a new option called motion ND. So if you want to use the new motion blur feature, then turn motion ND on. The effect is applied to the entirety of the video. You can't select just a little part of it. It's applied to the entire video. So make sure you definitely want to use it for the whole video. Motion blur works best with fast moving action shots like skiing, snowboarding, cycling, diving, and the motion blur will be visible any time the camera is moving. You can also see the effect when you pause the video and move the camera with your mouse. Even if your video is completely still, you can apply the motion blur effect to the keyframes so that when you move from one position to the other, the motion blur effect is applied as well. So play your video to see if you are happy with the intensity of the motion blur with the default settings that are applied. To change how the motion blur effect is applied to your video, you can alter the spread and intensity sliders. Changing the spread value will either increase or reduce how much of your video the blur effect will cover. At the maximum value, the whole video will be blurred, and at a lower value, only the edges will be blurred and the center will remain clear. Changing the intensity value will change how intense the blur effect is, which seems pretty obvious, but what that means is that at the max value, any movement will look completely blurred out with hardly any details visible at all. And then when you lower that value, the blur effect will be a little bit more subtle and you can still make out some details. Using a high intensity value will make it seem like your video is moving faster than it actually was when you recorded it. So this would be great for if you mounted your camera to a car or a bike, as well as skiing, snowboarding, cycling, all of those kinds of videos, this would be a great way to make it seem like you were going much faster than you actually were. And if your video features a person or someone you want to focus on in the center, once again, like someone skiing, so then I recommend adjusting the spread value so that they are not blurred, but the environment around them is. This creates a nice contrast and I think is the best way to use this setting for action shots featuring people at the center. So, and like I said, even if your video was stationary, your camera was still, the motion blur effect can still be visible in between your keyframes when you reframe your video. If those keyframes are really close together and the camera moves very quickly between them, then I recommend using the higher intensity values so that the blur effect will match the speed at which the camera moves between those keyframes. If you've reframed it so that the camera moves pretty slowly between two keyframes, it takes five to 10 seconds, then reduce the intensity so that once again, it kind of matches that. Okay guys, so that is a quick tutorial on how to use the motion blur effect in the Insta360 Studio. I think this is actually a great addition and something, yes, we've been waiting for for a long time. Previously, you could only get the motion blur if you used a hyperlapse effect, but now you can apply it to all your kinds of videos and it's gonna look great when applied to fast moving action shots. This tutorial is also part of my ultimate Insta360 video course, which features over 40 other lessons teaching you how to get the most out of your Insta360 camera and teaching you how to get some amazing unique shots, no matter which Insta360 camera you have. So if you enjoyed this and you want to create some epic content, then please feel free to check that out. The link will be in the description below. But until next time, guys, I hope you found that useful. See you next time. Bye.